What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you have never seen me before, my name is Caroline Manning. And if you are a subscriber, welcome back. Happy to have y'all here today. Clearly we've got like two more sips left of matcha. And now done. It's a beautiful summer day. We just hit July. Is it July 6th? Fourth of July was two or three days ago. So we're gonna go with, oh, it's the 7th. Where is time going? What is going on? Oh my gosh, I feel like I look crazy. Does this look okay? I put a headband on because we're about to do makeup and I don't want any makeup on my hair. But yeah, today has already been such a good day. By the way, this is the Summer Fridays Birthday Cake Lip Balm and it is divine. You need to run to Sephora or wherever they sell this. Maybe they have this at Ulta, but 100% at Sephora. The texture, consistency, and the smell is just like ratatouille i figured i would just show y'all kind of an everyday summer look that i've been doing so maybe prop your phone up also do your makeup simultaneously and we can just like pretend we're on facetime together i already have some spf on my face right now the one that i use is the super goop sunscreen i put it on before my walk but it has spf 40 it's a part of their glow screen line and i absolutely love this one in the shade sunrise it kind of has like a glowy bronze tint to it and so it just protects your face while simultaneously making you look like a glazed donut but y'all know I love Glossier so much and their perfecting skin tan is the perfect amount of coverage for what I want during the summertime. I don't like super heavy makeup, especially if the sun is beating down on my face. So I find that that tint is the perfect amount. Going in with my Sephora foundation brush, just moving this in circles on my face and brushing outwards to the sides of my face. So for example, on the cheek, I like to kind of push it out and then the chin goes down and for the forehead, I'm pushing up. Let's chat. <laughs> a week ago, I was in Guilala, California. I had this incredible opportunity to work with the brand called Wander, which is basically like a luxury Airbnb Verbo type of company. And I planned this girl's trip with my mom's sister, my sister's friend, and then my friend Fia. And we did a girl's trip to the Wander Anchor Cove property and it was stunning. I have a whole video up on my channel if you haven't seen it already, but it was so much fun and I've never explored Gualala before. It's like three hours north of San Francisco, which is where I usually go. And then the last day we were able to spend with my grandmother at her house, which is always so special to me because Mill Valley and just my grandma's house is like my safe space, comfort place. And I don't know if anybody else feels like that, but I remember filling that on a blank space on like my third grade homework paper. It asked where your favorite place, safe space was, and I remember writing my grandma's house. As I'm getting older, I'm definitely realizing there is going to be a set number of times that I have left to see my grandma. Also my parents, that's like one of the scary things that happens when you get older and you move out and you're living your own life is that you don't see them on a day-to-day -day basis anymore. So really putting in the effort to fly out there can see seem tedious but in the grand scheme you know it's very very important i really am going to try to make more of an effort to go back to san francisco this year as well as next year just because i love spending time with my grandma for concealer the brand that i've been currently loving is kosis i use the tarte shape tape concealer religiously i want to say five or six years and i recently threw mine out because i realized that it was too much coverage and as i'm getting older i'm not wearing as much makeup as i used to so i really love the creamy consistencies and the kosis creamy concealer has one of these smoothest applicators it's like this dough tip that just like glides on your face but I also love how it blends out and sits on my face throughout the day that's something that's super important to me so I'm just doing it in these areas of my face and for concealer specifically I don't like to use a brush so I'm going in with the makeup sponge from the brand Kosas and I'm just gonna go in a sweeping motion building this outwards and in the fact that we've already reached the midpoint of summer is actually insane it's been a great mix of traveling as well as staying here in Boise and just kind of enjoying the summer with friends I've met so many new people I've been doing a lot of Bible studies with a lot of girls going to youth groups going on walks I'm about to float the river on Tuesday with some of my girlfriends it's 
been lovely here in Boise um, and I can't stress enough how much of a place Boise has in my heart like I thought that my hometown in Texas was going to be my forever and I was gonna make my way back there the last two years of being in college here has made me realize that home is truly where you make it and I can't imagine calling any other place right now currently my home other than Boise and that has kind of led me into thinking okay where do I want to live after college because I'm in the midpoint of my college journey as well I'm gonna be a junior in the fall and graduation is May of 2026 still trying to wrap my head around that because it feels like I graduated high school yesterday but regardless of where I live I'm so grateful that I had this time to live in Boise and live in this beautiful house that I get to wake up in every single day because this has been one of the most peaceful college experiences ever especially considering the fact that I could never do like a rowdy college town. I'm not a big partier, I'm a big homebody. And when I do like to go out, it's usually with people that I feel very, very comfortable with. And it's never anything that is super crazy. I think that's all blended into my face. We're gonna set this with some powder. So I finished my first summer college class of the first five weeks. Now I'm on my second one. The first class I did, it was a moral philosophy class. I really enjoyed it and I ended up getting a 98 in the class, which honestly was one of the best feelings because we had to write this paper and then make a video project at the end of it. And that took so long. While I was in California, I was writing that paper. Seeing my final grade in the class was just such a rewarding feeling. Can officially check that off the list. Philosophy was very interesting. Now I'm doing an anthropology slash archeology span class. I kept thinking that I was doing art. I don't know why I was so convinced that I signed up for that class, but then when the first class finished and I got all the material for my next class, I was clicking on the modules and I was like, wait, anthropology, archeo, what? I don't know what I was thinking that I signed up for art. It came back to me and I realized, oh yeah, I did sign up for anthropology and archeology. span And so far that class has been interesting as well. I grew up watching all the Indiana Jones movies plus Tomb Raider. And fun fact, Laura Croft, AKA Angelina Jolie was my first celebrity crush. My first celebrity crush wasn't even a guy, it was Angelina Jolie because she is so freaking cool. And she's just gorgeous. Because it's summer, I want a little warmth in my face, so I'm going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. This stuff actually smells like chocolate. I don't know how they did that. Maybe I don't want to know. This is one of the best bronzers that I've used. For a while, I was using the Milk Contour Stick, which I actually did like that consistency, but after a while, I just realized, you know what? I always find myself coming back to powder blushes and powder bronzers, and so here we are. I'm about to finish the show Suits on Netflix. I don't think I've ever binge watched a show so fast in my life. It makes me want to become a lawyer. Some days I wake up and I question whether or not I chose the right major because they make being a lawyer just seem so fun, but I know in real life it would actually stress me out so for now i'm just living vicariously through harvey and mike favorite character on the show though is donna i'm trying to be like donna she is so cool she is the it girl you can never have too much blush best air whip blush is from cleo cosmetics which is a korean brand so i think you can only buy it on the site yes style i'm pretty sure that's what it is that's where i get mine from this is the perfect prettiest shade of pink and I am not shy when it comes to blush. I go crazy on my cheeks and then I also love putting it on my nose because I think it just adds a little bit of oomph. For brows, if you're tired of your brows moving around throughout the day and you want them to just stay in place, Emco Beauty has one of the best eyebrow gels out there. I also am kind of breaking out my face right now because I think I'm about to start my period. Also on my chest, so that's always fun. Let's do a little bit of warmth in the lid. The key to having a natural glowy summer look is getting a palette with the most neutral shades. This one is the perfect one for that. Here's a quick glance at all the shades. Some light whites, nudes, and then a little bit of pink and browns. The color that I always find myself going for is this one right here called nude i'm just gonna tap it with my sephora crease brush all i'm doing is starting in the crease stopping halfway and kind of just rubbing that back and forth adding this little bit of warmth really opens up your eyes especially if you stop halfway and you don't bring it to the front I'm really excited because later today I'm going to be doing a writing, recording, brainstorming session with one of my friends who actually kind of has like his own studio in his house. Y'all know I love singing, I love writing music and playing piano. I've been wanting to get back into singing for the last three years and it seems like every time that I've been so close to like dipping my toe into it and going full force again, something has come up, whether it's 
college necessities, being a homeowner and having to deal with unforeseen costs or construction, things like that. Obviously I studied abroad and did semester at sea, so that took me away for like five months. And then traveling, having a long distance boyfriend, I could go on and on and on and give you the list of reasons why I never did it. And while those are valid, I also think a lot of it was me just making excuses and being afraid and overthinking. And I'm really excited because tonight I'm gonna be able to start singing again and writing and working with somebody producing music. I don't wanna be that person that's like, I can't tell you guys this right now, but something exciting's happening. I'm just gonna keep you guys updated and informed along the way. Secrets aren't Fun. and if you've stuck with me throughout my whole music journey in the first place there's no reason why I should have to hide any of it I'm gonna do a baby wing and for eyeliner one of my biggest pet peeves especially looking back at old photos of mine is I would do eyeliner tails so angled like literally dragging it like this and what I found that works best especially for my eye shape um, my eyes feature more of my Asian side is just extending the line outwards and that kind of elongates and opens up the eye even more. Instead of going like super harsh line down, maybe try extending it. Okay, this side all done. Last little bit, we're gonna do some mascara. I'm a huge fan of going back to the basics and as much as I love higher end brands that have amazing quality, sometimes breaking the bank is not always an option. <laughs> going back to the drugstore OG brands does the trick. And I've always found that to be the case, especially with mascaras. So the one that I've been loving is from the brand CoverGirl. This is the Eye Enhancer Intense Black Curling Mascara. I love the wand because it has that little arch in it it goes perfectly right onto your lashes i don't start at the base of my lashes i start halfway and then kind of wiggle it up you start at the base then it weighs your lashes down ultimately making them fall throughout the day and we don't want that mascara all done last little bit that i'm going to do is just reapply my summer friday's birthday cake lip balm if i'm going out to dinner or doing something fancy with my day then obviously i'll do a lip liner look with lipstick and lip gloss but for a summer day i feel like all you really need is just a good lip balm that gives you that perfect shine so we're just going to go ahead and reapply that oh my gosh it smells so good there was one other thing that i wanted to talk about i've been in this industry since i was 14 and throughout the last six years, my emotions and love for YouTube has been like this. While most of it has always been a high and I love what I do, I love my job, there is always gonna be the possibility of creative burnout. And sometimes I do get that. I haven't reached the point where I'm like, okay, I'm done with this job. I don't wanna do it anymore. It's still so much fun and I love it. But y'all are also aware that influencing space has kind of changed a lot. So while most people were on YouTube before, the pandemic hit and then everybody kind of switched to TikTok and short form content. Everything about the fundamentals and principle of my job is screaming at me to push all of my energy into TikTok and that kind of content. But for some reason, I am so like, I, I just can't do it. And maybe it's because I'm very loyal to YouTube and you know, my heart is here, but I've been trying to be active on my TikTok. It's just interesting seeing how the industry has changed. And at the end of the day, I don't want to ever have to force something. So I guess what I'm saying is I want to hear y'all's opinions and kind of just like chat with you guys about where you're spending your most time because do you guys prefer that I post more and kind of keep my all focus on YouTube? Do you want me to put it on TikTok? I don't know. It's just hard to know especially because a lot of people that do watch my YouTube channel don't have TikTok because they don't like the app. I just want to hear y'all's feedback and chat with you guys. Ultimately YouTube is where my heart is at and at the end of the day I could give zero cares in the world if I got zero views on my YouTube channel because my heart and passion is in creating these videos. And with how much the space has changed, obviously I'm aware that like the content that I made when I was 14 or 15 or 16, however old, is going to be completely different than the content that I'm making now because my life has changed and I've gotten older. So have you guys, the viewers. Anyways, I don't know if that made any sense, but on that note, I'm gonna go upstairs and make myself some lunch. And I'm probably gonna do some of my anthropology homework because 
I'm gonna be traveling and visiting my sister in Washington DC next week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope that y'all enjoyed this summer natural makeup look. I'm gonna link all the products that I use down below. I know that I was busy yapping and forgot to say exactly what products I was using for which. When I'm editing this video, I definitely will put them on the screen and kind of write them out for you guys. So um, I hope y'all have a lovely day today. Go make somebody else's day and do something nice for yourself. Go on a walk, treat yourself to some ice cream, maybe get a crumble cookie. I baked some blueberry scones yesterday and I am gonna be having two of them warmed up in the microwave. So on that note, I love y'all so much. Have a fabulous day and I will see you in my next video. Ciao. I can close my eyes and breathe A song in good conversations